the feed price outlook for the year ahead really all depends on if we're going to get a crop or not. And when I say that, I'm, I'm talking about a yield in that 150 bushel range. If we get a, a another national average yield of 130 bushels or less, we're looking at a situation where corn prices are going to be seven and a half on average throughout the year, something like that, uh, probably topping out in that 825 to 850 range like we did this last year. We kind of found out that that's the level that's going to destroy enough demand looking forward to go ahead and back prices off and, and, and start to search for a little bit of demand in the market again. But if we can grow 150 bushel with some average growing uh, conditions out there, then we can start talking about an average price in the low $6 for the year ahead. Uh, to get it under $6 for an average price, we really got to get close to trend line uh, up around 160 bushels per acre. Now that's going to take excellent growing season. In other words, it means getting the crop planted on time, giving it the right amount of water early in the season to get it growing. And then because of how dry we are over about 70% of the corn crop or corn growing area, that's going to mean getting timely rain, temperatures that aren't too hot because we're probably not going to be able to fix all the drought conditions that we've got out there right now in one year. It's going to take multiple years to fix the drought, and that's been proven in the southern plains in spades. And uh, uh, in the Midwest, I think we're to that point now where it's going to take several events to fix the problems that we've got. So under 130 bushel for a national average yield, it's going to be a price situation very similar to what we had a year ago. Get us into 150 bushels per acre. We can start talking about corn prices and low $6. But to get under 6 bucks, we really need to get to 160 bushel.